Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Guess what? I've been shopping. I've been to the drugstore, so I wanted to share this quick drugstore haul with you. I got a little mixture of some body care products and some skincare and mainly makeup. So without further ado, if you'd like to know what I picked up, just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with skincare. And first of all, I picked up the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the mini format, 125ml. A lot of people really rave about this, and I've been umming and ahhing as to whether to pick it up for a while. But I've never seen this mini format before, so that was what tempted me to pick it up. It was about, it was just over a pound, so I figured it'd be rude not to pick it up. I will give this a go and let you know what I think. But as I said, I've heard really good things, so fingers crossed it works out well. Do let me know in the comments below if you've tried it. Another really popular product are the simple Kind to Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. As you know, I tend not to agree with facial wipes. In fact, I've done a whole video about why I disagree with them. I will link that below in case it's of interest. But this is just a packet of seven wipes, and I thought that it would be handy for an upcoming holiday. So that's why I picked this up. On to body care, I picked up the Queen of Shaves, which is from the same people as King of Shaves, um, Ooh La La Shaving Gel for Essentially Smooth Skin. This just sort of jumped out to me on the shelf. It's one that I've seen before and kind of wondered about, and I guess because I was in shopping mode, I thought that I'd pick it up and give it a go. It's almost like a gel cream, and it smells really nice. A nice blend of, well, coconut and vanilla, but it doesn't smell sickly sweet. Sometimes I use shaving gel and sometimes I use just whatever body wash I'm using when I'm shaving my legs, but I thought that I would check this out. I'll let you know how I get on. And then the final body care bits that I picked up were a couple of items from the Vitamin E range, which is Superdrug's own brand, and I picked up the 360 Spray On All Over Body Lotion. I'm a big fan of anything that helps me moisturise my body quickly because I'm lazy when it comes to moisturiser. I'm not a morning person and I don't want to be there like slathering on body butter or body cream that's going to take me ages in the morning. So I like this idea where it's a sort of spray and go. Um, I've previously raved about the Vaseline version and I thought that I'd check this out and see how it compares. And then I also really like in-shower body moisturisers. If you've watched my empties videos, then you'll probably know that. My favourite are the Lush Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I also like their African one. Rose Argan is my favourite. Um, but it's pricey, so I'm always on the lookout for a cheaper version. And so I thought that I would check this out. I saw somebody blog about this, and that was what initially drew my attention to it, and that's why I checked out their display. But it was also a really good offer. I think it was buy one, get one half price. Um, and they had lots of things that were a third off, so I can't really remember which deals were which, but I think this was buy one, get one half off, which is why I got the two. Um, this, does contain, this does contain mineral oil, so I'm a little concerned that I might have the same thoughts on it as the Nivea ones, which I felt were clogging the pores on my legs, but I thought, I haven't got much to lose, I'll give it a go, and I will share my thoughts with you. Another one that was on buy one get one half off was NYC. So I picked up a couple of products that I've heard rave reviews about. It's a really affordable brand, so I thought maybe I'd do a drugstore look, something like that. Let me know if you've got any specific tutorials where you think that I could work these into, or if you just want to see it get ready with me. I don't know. I don't really have enough NYC products to do a one brand tutorial, I don't think. Maybe I do. Anyway, I picked up the Smoking Hot Showtime Volume Mascara in black. And I also picked up the liquid eyeliner, which a lot of people really rave about. So I figured, you know me, I love my eyeliner. Got to give this one a go. I must stop buying eyeliners. I've got a problem. I'm quite keen to do a drugstore powder review video of some description, whether it be hits and misses, top five, five favorites and a fail. So my friend here on YouTube, The Sparkalicious, Avia, um, her channel is fantastic. Check it out if you haven't already always raves about the basic MUA pressed powder. This is just a translucent one. It was super cheap. I think it was a pound. No, definitely no more than two pounds. So I figured I would pick this up and try it out. And then last but not least, I picked up this, it's called a blush palette from Makeup Revolution. A lot of bloggers go crazy over Makeup Revolution because it's super affordable, very similar, very similar to MUA. Despite my love of blush, I resisted the blush palette and picked up this one, which is called Golden Sugar. It's called a blush palette, but to me, this is very much a highlighting palette. Some really, really pretty shades. Great for getting that J-Lo glow in the summertime. So again, let me know if you'd like a review video on this, or maybe I'll just do a blog review, but I just couldn't resist. I thought it was so pretty. 
Anyway, just a quick haul, but one that I wanted to share with you. Do let me know what your latest things that you've picked up from the drugstore are in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!